It brings me so much joy when I get to see the little girls out on the rink. And the fact that they can have girls hockey from three years old is incredible. It's a testament to where the game has gone and it's a testament to the passion and the love that little girls show for the game. It's the greatest game in the world and I want everybody to enjoy that. I'm a part of the Professional Women's Hockey Players Association and our goal is to ultimately create a sustainable and viable hockey league so that little girls can dream of playing professional hockey one day just like little boys do. I'm hoping that I can give a voice to black, indigenous and people of colour so that they know that their dreams are real, they're attainable and that they can accomplish whatever they want to accomplish. She's able to talk about important issues, social justice, women in sports. That is making me, that's a proud dad because I'm looking at her impact in society. The generation coming after us is extremely fortunate to have somebody like Sarah to look up to. See her where she is and what she's impacting in the younger generation and everything she's doing, it's, it's incredible. Something that sets Sarah apart is definitely her courage and how brave she is. Growing up, my dad always taught me that I was going to have to work two times harder than the next person, not only because I was a female, but because I was a biracial female in the game of hockey. And so I've always had that work ethic instilled in me that I not only had to give my best, I had to give my best and then some. When we put her on skates, she kind of took to it. And just seeing that, hey, I'm fast, I can skate and I love being out here. And you could see the big smile through her face mask. And that really jazzed me up as a parent. You're watching that and knowing your kid loves what they're doing. Just her ability to be herself. She's always made everyone around feel like they can be themselves too. Sarah Nurse is a fantastic hockey player, but she's an even better person. For me as a young child, I only saw women play hockey once every four years. And so many people told me that I couldn't do it because they never saw women play hockey. And people asked why I was still in hockey, what I ever thought that I could do in hockey. And so I want to make the game accessible for all females. I want to make the game acceptable for all races, for people who are in the LGBTQ community, for disabled people, because I believe that we have the obligation to leave the world in a better place than what we got it in. I obviously want to accomplish amazing things on the ice. I want to win championships, I want to be an impact player, but ultimately I want my contributions off the ice to far outweigh any on ice contribution. We want to share our game and our passion with everybody. And we know that there is a desire for women's hockey. We've seen the amount of girls organizations absolutely explode. So we know that there's a need for them to see strong women like us in the game. And by us bringing hockey to them, we hope that we can inspire them to continue to stick with the sport and really keep their passion and their love for the game. And so for My Little Female Hockey World, we have to stand up and we have to make our voices heard. As female hockey players and female athletes in general, we're constantly grabbing the torch from the previous generation, uh, putting our work boots on and trying to push the game further. We want girls to have the same dream that boys can and we're working as hard as we can so you can have every opportunity and dream that any other boy has. We know that we're going to have to sacrifice a little bit and that's okay with us because we want to see that 10 year old girl be able to reap the benefits of having a professional hockey league. I'm not backing down Cause the future Over to nurse The future nurse. is now Not backing down Cause the future is now I'd like to say to the future generation of female hockey players to always have confidence in yourself and always be your own biggest fan. There is no limit. Keep fighting, keep dreaming. You can do anything you want. Shoot for the moon, and if you miss the moon, you're going to run into a star. Just keep chasing your dream. Have the courage to join in on conversations. If nobody invites you in, inject yourself in those conversations. Make your own conversations and work to push your passions forward and to push your purpose forward and really be true to yourself.